Hello and welcome to episode 3 of 5 Minute Retro. I thought I'd do something different this time because my first two were tabletop video games and while I've got quite a few more of those I didn't want you to think that's all I've got or all I do so I've dug out one of my prized possessions which is the Sinclair Oxford 100 calculator which I picked up at a car boot sale about 20 years ago so it wasn't mine originally. These were originally released by Sinclair in 1974 Interestingly, though, they were actually made for Gillette, the razor blade company, who apparently in, in the 1970s wanted to get into the consumer electronics market. So they commissioned Sinclair to design a calculator for them. But I don't know why it was never released. It was going to be released as the Gillette GPA, but it didn't happen. So Sinclair, having done all the tooling, took it upon itself to finish the job. And, and here we have the Sinclair Oxford 100. It isn't actually Sinclair's first calculator. That was the Sinclair Executive in 1972, and I haven't got one of those. I would love one. It looks like a little uh, TV remote control. Um, if anyone's got one and wants to send me one, feel feel free. I'd be very grateful to get one. Uh, there was also a slightly bigger Sinclair Cambridge in 1973, which I also haven't got. I'm not so interested in that, but hey, I would, I would happily have one if I found one at a car boot sale. But this, this is one of my favourite possessions. As I said, I've had it about 20, 25 years. Now, I certainly didn't need a calculator in 1974 because I was four years old. But I found it and, and had to have it. And it's all working and I love it. And one of the reasons why I love it, and we'll see right away at the top there, is this, which is a, an EverReady battery. Of course, the EverReady brand still exists, but it doesn't look anything less anymore. So I think this might be the original battery, not least because it's all kind of rusted up. I probably shouldn't keep putting it back in the box, but I can't really think of a better place to put it without losing it. Um, and the reason I think it's original is if you look on the back of the box, there it is there, an EverReady battery. So um, the one thing that possibly says that it isn't the original battery is that it has a Woolworth stick on the back for 19p, which I guess is how much a battery cost in the 1970s. But I don't, I don't know um, if, if that would mean that it was put in at the factory and um, maybe Sinclair just sent someone down to the local Woolworths at uh, lunchtime to pick up a bunch of ever ready cells anyway I'll never know I'll pop that back in um, it came with a manual which, which seems kind of funny for a calculator because of course we all know how to use calculators but perhaps in the 1970s people didn't I don't know um, anyway there you go little manual with some orange spot color to match the box there quite pretty really um, and, and here's here's the here's the fellow, the Sinclair Oxford 100. Now there's nothing too remarkable about this. It's it's a calculator that's kind of designed for carrying in a briefcase, and you've seen a million things like this before and since, I'm sure. As I said, this is all in working order, but the on button is really tough, and I always struggle to get it on. There you go. And when you switch it on, um, one of the things that I find quite interesting is when you type, the display always displays, always shows all the zeros, the leading zeros. So let's do like 669 times 36. And you can see the leading zeros there and they don't disappear until you press equals. I don't know if that's a programming bug or a little integrated circuit um, hiccup, who knows, uh, but it does the job. It calculates just as you might expect. Um, it's a lovely clear display. It might not be so great under my office lights here um, but these really do eat batteries um, in fact the first video I made um, of this the battery which to be fair had been there for a few months died midway through and that's quite a common occurrence and experience when you're using this thing um, so yeah um, and of course one thing you can do um, which every schoolboy ever did was type um, 531 Zero, zero, 008, which as we all know is absolutely essential. Oh, except of course I, I, I wrote Bobby's. Hey, but oops, never mind. Anyway, um, that's it. This is called Five Minute Retro, which means I don't go on for more than five minutes, and I've got about 20 seconds left. Um, I've got plenty more coming up if you like what I do. Um, perhaps click, click the subscribe. Um, button. I'm going to try and put it there and there might be some links here to some more of my other videos. We'll see if I can figure out how all that works. Hope you've enjoyed that. It's just short and sweet. That's how it's meant to be. And until next time, happy retro.